family man back with another video man this video we got a little story time got a nice little story time for y'all but i'm about to start changing my story times like it's not going on this is my first and last time doing it this way see this way is like it's cool and all but it's just it's i ain't really got a, a good setup to where i can set the, actually set the camera up so it's kind of annoying so so this is probably my first and last time doing it this way and plus I kind of want to do it like the old school way, you know, if you used to watch the old, you know, Fredo videos, pre old Fredo videos, or anybody who's tell story time with gameplay, you know, if you OG, you know, so comment if you OG, and, um, shoot, I'm gonna get right into it, bro. Alright, so basically what this story time is about, it's about my first car crash. Who oh, knows, man? I, I know I didn't told this story about 30 times, man. I didn't told this story about 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, about 100 times, man. But, you know, I can't tell y'all, man. Y'all have a new family, so I can't tell y'all too, I guess. But, boom, right? So, we're going to start all the way back from the first day, like the day before the car crash. So, basically, right, I was working at my job. Well, I'm. I would just start working at my job that I'm working at now. I've been there for two years now. This happened when this car crash happened when I was 18, and this is like right before graduation. So, boom. I'm working at my new job, right? So, my homeboy T, you know what I'm saying? I'm called my homeboy T. I'm called the lady who was helping me and T out, who was the business lead at the time. I'm called her S. So, boom. So, me and T called me up, he like, hey bro, you trying to uh, help me up with your job? And I was like, yeah bro, boom. So I was like, I just got a ticket to go get an application, and then she gonna tell you, you probably fill it back out, come back out, you know, come back out later. So boom, we go out there, we go to the job, you know, so I'm finished signing my paper or doing a little banking thing, you know, how they pay you and stuff like that. So boom, get to that part. Boom, she tell me, oh, you gotta go get your TV test read. So boom, then she also ended up telling me that my homeboy T can't get a job there because they want to hire no one for the kitchen. Which is kind of crazy, but I'm going to tell y'all at the end why it's so crazy. So, boom. Right? So, I end up dropping my homeboy T off. So, we, me and T are hit, bro. I end up dropping him off. And then, I had to go get my TV read. Mind you, I had went. I could have got my TV read right beside the building, right beside the job I was at. But, yeah, they gonna, I ended up going all the way over there by, um... I forgot what it's in called. I'm gonna say it's over there by Greenbrier. I had to go all the way out. If you live in Chesapeake or Chesapeake, Virginia, you know where Greenbrier at. Over there by that guy that gonna shopping center. So I had to go end up going all the way over there. And mind you, I already all the way in the river. So it's like it's not that far, but it's probably like ten to like five minutes away, probably, maybe, something like that. Got then going, so boom. Got then going. That happened. So I had got out of the car. And I'm walking to the spot to get my TB test or whatever. And I noticed that I ain't got my wallet on. I'm like, what the freak is my wallet? What the freak is my wallet? And I'm like, dang, I ain't got my wallet on me. So boom. I got thing on. I call. I get back into the car. I call at some like, yo, S. Um, have you seen my wallet? And she was like, no, nah, I ain't see it up here. You don't think you left it here? And I was like, that's kind of crazy. So boom. And I'm going to tell you how that's kind of crazy. And you, you're going to see it at the end. How you all fools out there? So boom, right? So then I called T, and I'm like, "Hey, bro, T, where you think I left my? You think I left my got to go wallet in the closet? I mean, not closet, but you think I left my wallet outside your house or something? Like when I drop you off, he was like, "Nah, I ain't see it out there, but you know I can go check." So he ended up calling me probably like five, ten minutes late. He was like, "Nah, bro, I ain't see it." So I'm like, "Dang." So later that day, I ended up going home. Boom. Later that day, I'm telling my mom, you know, I left my wallet, mom, left my wallet, you know. I'm like, dang, like, I don't know what to do. I lost my wallet. So, got dang on. I ended up telling her that. And, um, she's just making up, like, she's thinking about, like, the future. She's basically just telling me, like, ah, right, you're gonna make a me for this, you're gonna make a me for that, you're gonna make a me for this. 
and I'm just like, damn, I don't like, I don't really like driving around my wallet, and I, I, cause I'm like, me like at the time, I was like, I don't want to get in no crash, and it's crazy cause like how I predicted it. I was like, I, I was like, I don't want to get in no crash, and I ain't got no wallet, cause I don't want to like get in trouble, and I'm thinking I'm so paranoid, I'm gonna get in trouble and everything. So boom, got thing on. I'm like, alright, boom, boom, boom. She tell me that. So then the next day come up, the crash that, this crash that. So the day that day come up or whatever. And two hours before I had left the house, my grandma had called me. She was like, hey, you know, I heard about, you know, you losing your wallet, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to call you to let you know, well, tell you to drive safe and, you know, be careful out there because, you know, you don't got your wallet on, you don't got your ID. So I'm like, yeah, of course, my yard, I'm going to drive safe, this and that, and Boom. All right? So we drive, so I'm driving. Mind you, I'm driving. I'm trying to drive as cautious as I can. I'm driving, boom, driving. Mind you, my car had, that car had like, they the brakes was kind of off on that car. And the car wasn't bad, the car was good all in all. It was a good little starter car. Good little starter car. I kind of wish I still had the car. You know, I would probably got the brakes fixed and everything. But, got that going, boom, I'm driving. So, I'll get back to it. I'm driving, doom, 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 driving. You know, whipping, whipping else. Whipping that sucker, I mean, whipping. So, boom, I'm driving, I'm driving. So, if you live in Chesapeake or you know anything about Chesapeake, you know about Chesapeake General, right? So, boom, I get to the Chesapeake General, I see this car get in front of me, boom. Like, because when you come out of Chesapeake General, there's a light, and you know, from, I want to say it's like Navy Federal, all that stuff is over there. Like, it's like a, uh, it's like the old food line, well, it's still a food line and stuff over there. It's like all that over there, boom. So she came off of that, what's called it? So it was a green light. So we, I got right behind her. And I noticed it, she was driving kind of like funny. I noticed she was driving kind of funny. And at the time, I couldn't get over because it's a lot of cars coming. It's a lot of cars coming. You know, I know some people be like, hey, maybe you should have forced yourself over. I don't care. But when you, I see a car driving in front of me and it's driving weird. You should force yourself over. At the time, I was a new driver. I ain't gonna lie. At the time, I was a new driver. You know what I'm saying? I was almost a year into it. But I was still like kind of like, you know how like you a year, but you like still kind of like, you know what I'm saying? You still kind of need that if. So boom, I'm a year into it. Kind of like a year into it, almost it like two more months. So boom, I'm still driving. Boom. So I see that she driving kind of like weird. She like, she going and she slowing down. She going and she slowing down. She going and she slowing down. I'm just like, yo, you she doing this and there ain't no traffic really in front of her. Like all the cars are in front of her really like just floating past her. I got cars getting in front of her and everything. So like, I'm trying to get in front of her, but there's a whole bunch of cars coming my side. So like we get past it, we get past that um Chesapeake General. Boom. The hospital, Chesapeake General Hospital. We get past that, boom. It's a 7 Eleven right here. 7 Eleven right here. So we get past that light at 7 Eleven. Boom. Man, she drove. She came to a complete stop. Boom. And I was still trying to kind of get over, but one of them let me over. So when she came to that complete stop, all you hear is boom. So all you hear is a loud, just boom noise, and I just remember it like just like, like freezing, like cause like like a couple months before, a couple months before we had went to um Mortal World, we had went to Mortal World, and Virginia Beach, I think it's I think it's in Virginia Beach, we had went to Mortal World in Virginia Beach, and um, and I I I had hit my um my brother on accident i wasn't driving fast enough it's like we was coming in and i was trying to hit the brakes and i was trying to hit the brakes and got they going i ended up hitting my brother on accident and um it just kind of like threw a flashback like that and it's like when i hit it didn't seem real like the car crash did not seem real i thought it hit her bro and it was just like bro i mean just remember her getting out the car I just remember her getting out the car she was just telling me Oh my God! She was just she was she was like she was freaking out, man. The 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 crash didn't do nothing to her car. I hit the back of her car, and got thing on. It was really because of her. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say nothing. Well, it was really because of her. But as you know, but as you know the cops are gonna be like, oh, you was beating behind it, so we give you a following too close. But got thing on. It was really because of her. But she, I remember her just getting out and got thing on. Getting out, Thomas. Oh my God! You hit my car. Nothing. Nothing wrong with the lady car at all. Trust me, nothing wrong with the lady car. But I just remember her just doing that. And boom, I remember the police coming and he escorted both of our. He told me to get in and drive to the uh, nearest gas station. And it was like right there, it was probably like 30 seconds, it was like right there. 
So we get over there, we came to that stop. I remember just calling uh, the lady who owned the car, cause you know, me, I didn't own the car at the time. Nobody, nobody, my sister or my dad, it was my dad, friend. She ended up owning the car and she had everything to the car. And I didn't own the car at the time, but they were trying to give me the car uh, that summer. After I graduated, they were trying to give me that car. And um, I just remember, I just remember, just got then going like, it was just like, it was tough, bro. Cause like, it's like, I just remember just being like, dang, this don't seem real. It just didn't seem real at the time. It was just like, damn. And it's crazy cause like, I had a little, I had a little universal test I was supposed to take. And I couldn't take it cause I ended up getting in a crash. And I was going to take at the time, I had a universal test that she supposed to take. So if you just in case you don't want to, you know what I'm saying, do um, the thing you wanted to do at the test center, you can always do it. You can always end up doing it because you got a you got a universal for it. you got the little I, the certificate for it. You got a little ID for it or whatever. So I was going to take that, and I couldn't end up taking it because I got in the crash. And this the crash was like two weeks before graduation, so it was like, bro, like that didn't even feel right, bro. Like it was just it was just all oh, wild, bro. That twenty twenty one year is wild. That might be a story time on its own, but like. That whole 21 year, it's gonna have all this in it, but boom. So after the crash, well, after the crash, after math, um, I ended up driving the car back home. He was, they was like, do you want to get it towed or do you want to get it drive back? Do you want to drive it back home? I was like, I'm gonna do drive it back home. Let's try to see if I can make it back home. So boom, I ended up driving home. You know, the lady who owned the car, she like, you know, I'm gonna call the um, she was like, I'm gonna call the people, and make sure they can try to either fix it. Or it's gonna get totaled. So two weeks later, the car ended up getting totaled, and I was left without a car. So I had to end up working two jobs. Well, at a, at first, I was already working at Wendy's. That was my second job because I was just I would that second job was me just to try to build money, you know what I'm saying, to get where like you know what I'm saying, try to get a little spot or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't get I ended up getting my spot like where I'm at right now until like two years like after that when I turned twenty. Well, I'm twenty now, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. But I got nigga on Yeah, so you know, just saving up money. That's what reason I had two jobs. But boom, right? So <laughs> I get home, right? So y'all remember y'all remember S the Benz lady, right? The Benz lady, I remember her, right? So I get a call from S and she's like, Hey Antoine um, not to sound like funny or strange or anything, but you know your your wallet is here. You know I thought it was my kid's wallet, but you know it was you know yours. Kind of, you know looking at it and it had your ID and stuff in it, bro. Bro, do you not realize I wouldn't that, that none of this would have happened if I was just had my wallet? Cause I left I left early and everything. Bro, listen, if I had my wallet, I would have left later. I wouldn't even been beside the lady, bro. Bro, she called me and told me, I do have your wallet. It was here the whole time. My wallet was there the whole time. <laughs> my wallet was there the whole time. <sighs> so I end up, after that, after that, she told me that, boom, I end up still going to get my TV real. Yeah. Told my mom to stay she had my mom's dad to take me to get my TV ready because I couldn't do it the day before because I had lost my um, ID and stuff. So my mom, I ended up going back to the job, grabbing my wallet, you know what I'm saying, get my TV ready. And um, I ended up, you know, getting another job, I ended up getting a new car. And I had bought my new car that July. So, man, look, listen, man. Basically, man. That was my first crash, man. For for man, the more the story is, bro. Like it don't matter how much like like puts you down, bro. You always gotta get back up. Keep trying, bro. Keep trying. Keep striving. You know what I'm saying? Keep going down, yeah, man. Cause like I said, I did it, bro. I, I ain't nobody, bro. I'm a regular human like everybody else is. You know, I'm human like you. I'm human like you and the next person. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, bro, it was it was tough. Don't get me wrong, it was a tough grind for like them, them two months. Like I just, I had. I had me like over like four thousand, cause it's just from grinding, bro. Like 
every day I was asking to pick up hours and everything like bro like it was it was tough man but I ended up getting a new car you know I ended up doing that and there was a lot of other blessings that came behind that so boom man sometimes you won't have rough roads but you just gotta get past them and um yeah man that was my <laughs> that was my crazy car crash story and um I hope y'all enjoy it and you be ready for the next video, man. Peace. I was told to keep my voice. Always block out the noise. I own the lives destroyed. And you can escape the void. I was told to keep my voice. Always block out the noise.